Hey everyone, Jared Collier here, and I wanted to create this video for people that do a lot of screen recording. Now, how many times have you been on a web page, you're recording your screen, and then it shows sensitive information like your name, your address, your social security, I don't know why you'd be doing that, but phone number, email address, Visa or MasterCard, and so on. So, wouldn't it be nice not to have to edit that in post-production. Let me show you what that process looks like very quickly so people understand what video screen recorder people have to do. So this is Premiere Pro. We have our footage. We imported it in here. Then we have to add an effect called Gaussian Blur. So these are all the steps and most people don't know this. Then we have to add a mask. Then we have to repeat the edges don't feather it, and then crank up the actual blurriness of it. So we have this kind of blurry box, right? Now what we have to do is position this box over the element that we want. Let's say we just didn't want to do our name, let's just say. Well, we'll do name and address. So we'll make a box that looks something like that, and something like this. Okay, it's kind of crooked there. It's okay. All right, so we have our box here. It's good enough. Now what we have to do is we have to create a mask path. That means we are doing keyframing because I'm moving around my screen. So when I'm moving out around my screen like this, it needs to follow the element, which is a pain. So now we're going to hit play here and we'll see how it does. Oftentimes, and this might go great, this might go terribly. Oftentimes, it won't go great. You will have it, like, not follow the element. You'll have to go go back and fix it. So let's see how that, how that went. Let's zoom in here. Play. So that time it was good, but sometimes it can jump around. And the point is, keyframing, if you have a long video, is a freaking nightmare. So let me show you a better way to do this. It's called Blur It Out. Let me remove these examples here. So the way it works, let me show you the Chrome extension. It's called Blur It Out. This is going to be the most amazing extension for Chrome if you do a lot of screen recording. So the way it works is you click this, you enable your blacklist, and then you add words that you want to ignore. So let's say I didn't want people to know my last name. Man Lee. Let's see if it's case sensitive. It it is case insensitive, so look, the name is now blurred out. Let's say I didn't want someone knowing the first three digits of my social security number. Well, what it's gonna do is not just blur out the first three digits, it's gonna blur out the whole element. What about this one here? Parish, my address. I don't want people to know that. There we go. So this way, when you do screen recording, it's automatically blurred out. Now there's a there's an also a feature here. It's called Enable Hover and Disable Hover. So that means if you hover over it, it'll still show you the element. Maybe that's useful for some situations, but most likely, if you're doing screen recording, you don't want to accidentally hover over it and reveal the information. So just click Disable Hover. Now that doesn't happen. So the only thing you really need to be worried about are things like tool tips that pop up with sensitive information. But this plugin, if you do screen capture, screen recording on sensitive information, is going to be the most amazing thing you've ever seen in your life. Okay, so if you liked this, obviously you know what to do. If you didn't like it, give me a thumbs down. Don't really, don't really mind. Uh, hopefully this helps a lot of people out because this is going to help me out. I don't have to do keyframing anymore. You know what I mean? All right, that's it for me. See ya.